but never want to put something up that way. So using that nice little split stance and be able to grab and then come back up. But then we eat leg strength. So that's a good thing about being able to work on and work in Pilates that we have that ability to work on those legs and make sure we have that posture and be able to use that. So it looks like doing footwork on the reformer, but then keep a little bit split that way. So daily living activities. So the first one I put on there, playing golf. So what's street posture in golf? Well, we have to turn in golf, and we have to move our body. But if I golf and I'm already like this, I'm not going to have that much turn. There's a law in anatomy, and it's named after Friet. So just like in any other study, somebody figured it out, so they have their name on it. So Friet figured out, if you take movement one way, and then you go ahead and move another way, there's not the same amount of motion available. So if I bend forward, I do not have as much rotation in my spine as I do if I'm upright straight. So if my posture already starts like this, I won't be able to backspin as well as somebody whose posture is more upright. Now we want to make sure that our chin is not way in front. We want to pull it back so they're right over top of one another. Now from here, we're going to curl from our abdominals. And what I want you to remember with your body, we've got four quadrants. Quadrant one, right underneath the breastbone. Two, right above the belly button. Three, right below the belly button. And four, right above the pubic bone. So we take a nice inhale here. We're going to gently roll over quadrant one. Then we go over quadrant two. Then we go over quadrant three. Then we go over quadrant four. And then gently rise back on up. So for you, I want you to come here. And I want you to bow. Okay? Yeah. So we take a nice inhale. Exhale, we roll at quadrant one. Then two. Then three. Then we go to quadrant four. Take a nice inhale and stack back up. Four. Three. Two and one. Bring your hands by your side so you can maintain that same line of your head. Take a nice inhale. Roll over quadrant one, two, three, and four. Take a nice inhale. Exhale, curl back up. Four, three, two, and one. Now this time I want you to pay attention to your legs. As we roll forward, did our weight shift away from the ball of the foot? Did our legs lock all the way straight? We want to maintain that same position we have with our legs here. We take a nice inhale. Now we curl forward. Over one, two, three, and four. We take a nice inhale. Curl back up. Four, three, two, and one. Last time, take a nice inhale. Exhale and curl over four, or one, sorry. Two, three, and four. Inhale here. Exhale, we come up four. Three, two, and one. Now we're going to take that curl a little bit further. Make sure you're pinching, please. As we go down, and now we're gently going to bring our hands down towards the ground. Soften those knees as we need to. So start up nice and tall. We start with an inhale. Exhale and start curling over your quadrants. One, two, three, and four. Bend those knees as you need to. Bring your hands onto your mat and walk out onto your hands and knees with your head pointing towards the mirrors. So walk all the way out onto those hands and knees. Want those knees directly below your hips and your hands directly so on the knees. Yeah. And your so all the way down. Yeah. Knees directly below your hips, hands directly below those shoulders. Now if you need more cushioning in your underneath your knees, use your towel or fold up your mat. If this bothers your wrist, fold up your mat or use your towel at the base of your hand. Now as we scan our body, I want that very top crown of the head feeling like it's reaching towards the mirrors in front of you. We want to have those elbow creases pointing towards one another. So make sure they're turned towards one another. We want to feel that that breastbone is reaching out towards the mirror in front of you. Now we want to go back to that bowl of a pelvis. And we're going to take your pelvis and it's gently going to go ahead and allow your lower back to arch just a little bit. And it's going to allow your lower back to crown just a little bit. So allow that pelvis to rock back and forth. And as we do so, we want to keep that upper back from moving in the head still as well. So just the bowl of the pelvis rocking up and the other way. 
Try to keep that strength from the little finger side of your hand reaching up into the back of the shoulder. And just gently let that pelvis rock back and forth, the top of the head still stretching long towards the mirrors. You can add your breath, inhale in the back arches slightly, exhale as the back rounds slightly. Keeping a conscious eye and thought in that middle back between your shoulder blades that it stays exactly the same. Now pause somewhere in the middle where you feel your back is not arched too much, nor round too much. And now we're going to do a little rotation in your pelvis. So we're going to take that right side of the pelvis and feel like it goes down towards the ground as the left side lifts up. And then we're going to do the same thing going the other way. So that pelvis is rolling one way versus another. So instead of backing up and down, it's a twist, twist, twist. And gently slide that left hand in front. And when that hand goes out in front, the shoulders 